Hi, and welcome back to UTV, uh, the second segment of our show in which we're so happy to be joined by our artist for this evening. His name is Nathan Paul Gibbs. He's been an artist in the uh, Southern California area for some time, and we want to welcome you to the show, Thank Nathan. you for having me. Thank you for having me. And, uh, of course, your art. Uh, you've got a large body of art. Yes, just about over 200 pieces. 200 pieces, and uh, you have been painting for quite a while, or uh, within a short period of time? Well, painting, actual painting, uh, in a professional manner since about uh, 1997. And before that, I was always kind of the doodling kid in class and took a mechanical drawing uh, course in junior high and kind of gave that up and took your general art course, uh, art, you know, art ed course in high school, where you do a quarter of um, sculpture, a quarter of drawing, quarter of painting, and then some art history, but no formal training. I was pretty much self-taught. So 10 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, you started. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you see yourself uh, catapulting? Uh, snowball effect, progressively getting more and more advanced, uh, or was it very slow moving uh, in the beginning for you? Well, I think, Paula, at first it was pretty slow moving because since not having any formal training, I was pretty much doing a lot of experimenting at first, just understanding the technical side uh, to it and the concepts behind it. Uh, but once I kind of got that technical side down, it did kind of snowball. And uh, once I really started producing work, more so when I actually moved to California, I was originally from Florida um, for 13 years before this. Uh, but when I came out to uh, California, I really kind of got the ball rolling. And once, you know, as an artist, you kind of get that feeling. And How and long have you been here in California? Uh, since 1999. Since 99? Yeah, since so 99. not too long after you started painting mm -hmm. or uh, the different forms of art, as you said, mm -hmm. uh, you moved right out here. Yeah, I came out and, here. Uh, of course, I would like uh, our viewers to see one of the first pieces. Sure. Uh, and the piece, I would think that it's best that you explain it to our viewers. Uh, they are large pieces, are they not, that yeah, we have? Yeah, most of the work I do is uh, at least 24 inches on the smallest side. Um, most of the time they're a lot larger than that. Uh, the piece you're looking at here is called the Convergent Zone, and this was a commission piece I did for a client. And uh, I wanted to, I'm big on sunsets, as you can probably tell from some of the work that's sitting behind us here, but I wanted to really have an impact of an area uh, where a lot of weather is happening in the evening. If you can see the trees, there's a heavy wind blowing, and in the, uh, in the ocean, it kind of gives that tropical feeling when that, in the evening time when that thunderstorm is moving in. Uh, and I, I just like that kind of vibrant color and, that, and a lot of action in my work. And that's uh, pretty much you're getting a horizontal plane off of that. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how large was that last piece? Uh, that piece was about six feet wide by about three feet tall. So yes. pretty large, yeah. And uh, the length of time it takes you to paint some, uh, the painting that we mm -hmm. just saw, uh, is, it a, is it a lengthy mm -hmm. process? Well, it varies uh, depending on the subject matter and uh, what kind of detail I'm putting into it. Uh, it really varies. Some pieces can I can do in a weekend's time working day and in into the night, uh, but others will take me years to complete working on it a little bit at a time and then leaving it alone for a while and then coming back to it you know, in a different spot. And uh, is it oil, acrylics, mixed? I, I, uh, mostly acrylics. Uh, some things I do are, are mixed media, like the pieces here sitting behind us. Uh, they include shellac and wood stain. Um, but most of the time, the, the painting medium is acrylic. I like working with acrylic the best. Yes, and do you uh, paint on other materials other than wood? Yeah, the first piece you actually just saw uh, was on canvas. Canvas. Uh, but I do enjoy wood a little bit more. You, you know, you can be a little bit more rough with it and use a lot, uh, a lot of different things on it. Uh, you can dig into it, sand it, stain it with different things, and just be a little bit more rough with it. I like to be physical with the work. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see some of your other paintings, right. your works of art. This is a, um, a found wood sculpture. I did a series on found wood sculptures where I tried to tie in, I'm a surfer, and so I tried to tie in uh, the personalities that waves have with the personalities of people. And uh, this one here, uh, it's a little hard to see on the, on the video, but on the uh, bottom right hand corner I have some words listed that are personality type words or emotion words uh, that when I collect these uh, 
found wood, pieces of wood from the beach all up and down the California coastline in Mexico, Costa Rica, all over the world where I gather them. I try and create a, uh, a sense of a wave with the three-dimensional uh, wood coming off of the uh, wood paneling there and then I paint a face that kind of goes along with the wood. You can see I have an ice cube dripping up there in the corner and that kind all this wood was found in the central California region uh, where the water's a little bit colder so I tried to emulate that and, with the uh, character. Now you grew up in Florida. What part of Florida? On uh, which coast? Uh, the East Coast, Northeast Florida, uh, on a, a small island called Amelia Island. Uh, I li lived there since I was 13 before I moved to uh, California. And actually before that, I was from the Puget Sound area in Washington State. So I've kind of done the, four, the three corners. Nice.